Hello all. Before we start on the content of this video, I highly recommend watching two videos on my channel. The first one being what is mobile front haul and you will find a card appearing on the top right hand corner now pointing to that video. The second video you should watch is the all you need to know about 5G RAN functional splits and again you will see a card flashing at the same location up there. Once you have watched those videos, you can resume this one. So the topic for today is open front hall or the 7.2x split. If you can recollect my earlier session on functional splits, you'll remember that a split 8 implementation at the radio access network meant that the E node B comprised of the radio unit performing the RF functionality and the baseband unit performing the PHY, MAC, RLC, PDCP and RLC functions. Now there are two directions that one can take from here based on end user requirements. One, continue to keep the RU as simple and lightweight as possible. This means we are saving size, weight, power and essentially more real estate at the cell side. The obvious catch here is even though we are saving those aforementioned things, our front hall bandwidth becomes high which increases optics and fiber costs and thereby increases the power usage. The other route is adding more functions to the RU which makes the unit heavier, costlier and more power hungry but we end up reducing the front hall bandwidth. So a higher level of front hall bandwidth is equal to a more complex radio unit and decreased front hall bandwidth requirement. To resolve this conundrum of competing design considerations, the Open RAN Alliance designed a single front hull split called the 7.2x, where the X meant possible variation allowed with this split. That variation is essentially the pre-coding function which can either be above the interface in the ODU or below the interface in the ODU. If you categorically look at functions supposed to reside in the ODU, there will be the optional IQ compression, followed by RE mapping, pre-coding, layer mapping modulation and scrambling. And at the ORU, there will be the optional IQ decompression, pre-coding and digital B forming, along with the mandatory IFFT, FFT and the CP addition removal functions, the digital analog and analog beam forming functions. There are two kinds of ORU designed for this implementation, the category A and the category B. The CAT A ORUs don't have pre-coding function, which also means it is mandatory for the ODU to perform this function and support up to 8 pre-coded streams. The CAT B ORUs have support for the pre-coding function and are implemented in scenarios where greater than 8 special streams are needed to be processed in the radio. Now that we have got a decent idea about the front hall split implementation, let us understand what is carried in this front hall interface. At a high level, the control plane, user plane, management plane and the synchronization plane are the essential ingredients of the front hall interface. While the control, user and synchronization planes are essentially layer 2, the management plane can be implemented with either IPv4 or IPv6. This means if you want to carry cusp plane traffic on your front hall network, you can use a layer 2 service like L2VPN VPWS or EVPN VPWS. The most common implementation of this open front hall functional split in a radio access network is in the form of a double split with 7.2x as the front hall split and split 2 implemented in mid hall. Well, it is time to talk about all the benefits of this open front hall split. Now, to be very honest with you, unless you actually implement it and compare the benefits of it with your existing architecture, you won't really be convinced about it. So it is better to do a lab trial or a proof of concept with this architecture and see it for yourself. As far as the theoretical aspect is concerned, it does seem to provide us with both economic and functional benefits. Let us look at them. 1. Interface Simplicity Here the transfer of user plane data is based on resource elements or physical resource blocks which simplifies the data mapping and limits the required associated control messages. 2. Transport Bandwidth Scalability in case of a splitted implementation, we need to scale based on the number of antennas, which essentially means more the antennas, more the bandwidth. In contrast, with the 7.2x split, the scaling is based on streams, so we don't need to account for the higher number of antennas while calculating our transport bandwidth. 3. Beamforming support with one single interface design, which is the open front hall interface, we can support digital beamforming, analog beamforming, and even hybrid beamforming. You can either support all of the algorithms for this implementation or choose to support a single one like analog beam forming. Interoperability 
Compared to the split it implementation, this architecture uses less user-specific parameters which simplifies specifications and enables greater interoperability. 5. Advanced Receivers and Intercell Coordination This is much easier to implement and less restricted when most functions are in the ODU. For example, uplink comp is not possible when uplink hi-fi processing is in the ORU. 6. Lower ORU Complexity Less functions at the ORU compared to higher split implementation like split 7 or split 6 allow limiting the required real-time calculations as well as memory requirements in the radio unit, especially CAT A ORUs. 7. Future Proofness Now with the help of softwareization and virtualization, we are placing more functions at the ODU which will allow us to introduce new features via software upgrades without inflicting hardware changes at the ORU. All of this wouldn't be possible if you were pushing more hardware functions into the ORU. 8. Finally, Interface and Function Symmetry If you are using the same interface and split points for both uplink and downlink, we are reducing the effort for creating, understanding and implementing technical specifications. That's all I had for this video. Hope the open frontal interface or the 7.2x split architecture is now successfully implanted into your head. Our next video is special, we will introduce our Converge Packet Front Hall products as it will be officially launched and generally available to all for ordering. Thank you so much for visiting and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.